Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Jam Helper series. In this edition, we are going to show you how to link your email address to your Jam profile. If you have subscribed to this channel, definitely you're going to get uh, notified when this video is produced. And if you have not subscribed to it, I want you to hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when any of any edition of this series will be produced. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified when our videos are also uh, produced. Now, this edition will help you learn how to link your Jam email to your Jam profile. Remember, if you registered for the Jam 2022 exams, during the registration, your email wasn't included in the part of the registration process. Now, do you know why? Good. The reason Jam did that was to protect you. Yes, to protect your data from persons who might abuse them. They did it so as to help you protect those data so that people will not be seeing your data and also use that to really uh, to really uh, steal, steal uh, or, or, or dupe you or steal from you. Now they have come up and said, since you did not link up your jam profile, the time has come, your exam has gone, come and gone, it is now time for you to link your email to your JAM profile, the profile you created when you registered for JAM. Now, why is this linkage very important? Now, for one good reason, without such linkage, you cannot assess the JAM Central Admission Processing System. They call it CAPS, C-A-P-S. Without linking your email you can't assess that because the two things you'll be required when you want to assess that is your email and the password so that is why jam wants everybody to link up their email with their words with their profile now if you do that you can be able to check your result and print your result slip so you can be able to check your admission status in that uh, jam central uh, uh, central admission processing system you can also be able to check, you can also be able to do your jam correction uh, of details. It can be your wrong uh, date of birth, it can be your change of institution or course, and any other changes you want to do, you can only do that in that CAPS portal. So you see how important for you to link your uh, email address to your jam profile. Now the question is, how do I do the linkage? That's a, that's a big question we are going to get an answer to now. Previously, Jam usually asks you uh, to send so, so, so to uh, a short code, but this time around, they made it very, very easy. This year, Jam is requesting all candidates to go to any accredited Jam center. It might be where you register, which is close to you. They say once you want to go there, all you need to do is to go there with just your Gmail address and other of your registration particulars. You know your registration number, your 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 code, and all those things. Get those things in case they ask for it. But the only thing they will ask for you is your Gmail address. Now, do not do not disclose the password of your. Gmail of your email address to anyone. You can go there with your Jam registration number, your phone detail, the phone you use in registering for Jam, which is very, very important. And that is what you go there the, along with. Now, once you go there, you can give them that email address and other details, but don't disclose the password of that email address. And once they are finished linking it, Jam is going to send you uh, a special password to that phone number you use in registering for Jam. Now, once you get that password, all you need to do is to go straight to Jam website, which is www.jamgov.ng/efacility. Once you go there, 
you enter your email address and then enter that password that Jam sends to that your phone number. And then you can access the CAPS what you can access the CAPS portal where you'll be able to assess your results. I know you've already checked your results using that short code 55019. But then in that uh, portal, you can be able to check and print your results sleep. And that will make it much, much easier for you. Remember, you are to go to that center with just your Gmail address. You are not supposed to go there with any other thing but your Gmail address. So in that CAPS uh, portal, you can also upload your O-level if it wasn't properly uploaded when you were doing your reg registration and lots more. So what are you waiting for? Go now and start linking your email to your jam process. Now, for those who don't know how to open an email, because that is exactly what you have to go with to, uh, to uh, the nearby uh, CBT center to get your email linked to your profile. If you don't know how to open the Gmail or an uh, email, because an email is just an electro electronic messaging service, uh, mailing service, you can use the Gmail, which is, which is more faster. We have other sources, we have other type, but the Gmail is more faster and can give you a better service. So for those who don't know how to open the Gmail address, we are going to go straight to how you can open a Gmail address. You can continue watching to get to know the process. So for those who don't have a new uh, a Gmail address, uh, we are going to show you in this video how to open a new Gmail address. Now to do that, you remember a, 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 a Gmail is just one part of uh, an email. We can have uh, email means electronic messaging services. We have Yahoo Mail. We also have uh, the Microsoft Mail. Uh, we also have, apart from that, the Gmail. Gmail is more recommended because it is faster and you can easily uh, open it. Now, if you want to open, just go to Google search, type Gmail. Now you see a lot of options will come up and you ask to create a Gmail account. So once you, you click here, you'll be taken to a page where you ask to, you'll be asked to create an account so you'll be requested for your first name now we want to we want to we want to write we want to create an account for sunday sunday kasim sunday kasim so once you click here you'll be requested to also say what the email will be like we want to make it sunday sunday k 2002 at gmail.com now you type in your password i uh, will make uh, the password we'll type in the password let's type in a password and uh, once you type in that password you you are good to go so type in the password you know you can easily uh, remember so that you you will not be locked out of your uh, gmail now if you if you have that you type you also have to confirm it if you want to confirm it you type that uh type the password having done that you click you click what you click next so once you click next it's going to show you to uh take you to a page where you have to what to type in your phone number remember since you are registering this for jam remember to use the phone number you use when registering for job so I'm going to input a phone number so once we input the phone number you click next you click the no phone number you click next okay it's telling me this number has been used several times so what we are going to do is we are going to input a new number so we are going to input a new number that's a, a number i've usually been using uh, for my gmail address now you can you can also input a new number now let's try this let's input uh, 802 
0.6337434. So let's try this. Now it will it will send a code to that uh, number. So once a code is sent to that number, you are going to receive the uh, code and type the code on this uh, point. Once you type the code on this point and click, click, click verify, your Gmail address will be open. Now I'm not going to continue because I don't have uh, uh, this SIM on phone in order to receive the verification code. So once you do that, you will be able to verify. Once you verify, the, it will take you straight to your what? To your uh, Gmail. Uh, it will take you straight to a point where you will be required to put in your date of birth. You have to put in your uh, other details. Once you put in such other detail and click submit, it will submit it and then your Gmail address will be what to be open so if you don't have a gmail address follow this process and uh, once you follow this process you are going to uh, create a new gmail address for yourself and remember as you go to jam cbt center it is that video that uh, that uh, gmail address you take to them remember don't show them this password for this email address is not meant for them to have it just give them the email address on other registration particulars they might need when linking your 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 email with your jam profile i guess you really get this thanks so much for watching this thank you so much for listening to this edition of uh, the jam helper series really appreciate your attention now, to get more of our videos on this series and updates on the exams you've already sat for, subscribe to this channel for such updates. And don't forget to hit the, uh, the notification button so that you can be notified once every of our video is produced once in a week. Thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing you watch the next edition of the Jam Helper series. See you.